of a farmer's scarecrow. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst rolling green hills, there lived a clever farmer named Benjamin. Benjamin was known far and wide for his innovative ideas and knack for finding solutions to everyday problems. His farm thrived, thanks to his intelligence and resourcefulness. One sunny morning, as Benjamin tended to his crops, he noticed a peculiar pattern emerging. A mischievous group of crows had taken a liking to his fields and were relentlessly pecking away at the newly sown seeds. Concerned for his harvest, Benjamin put on his thinking cap and set out to devise a plan to outsmart the clever birds. After observing the crows for several days, Benjamin noticed that they were most active during the early hours of the morning and late afternoon. He also realized that they were wary of human presence. Inspired by these observations, Benjamin decided to create a scarecrow unlike any other. Instead of the traditional scarecrow with a simple sack and straw, Benjamin set to work designing a lifelike replica of a farmer. He crafted a wooden frame, meticulously carved and painted to resemble himself. He even added old clothes, a hat, and a pair of boots to complete the illusion. But, Benjamin's cleverness didn't stop there. He attached small wheels to the scarecrow's feet and connected him to a simple mechanism that allowed it to move its arms up and down. To make the scarecrow appear even more realistic, he recorded his own voice on a small speaker, reciting various farm-related phrases. The following morning, Benjamin set his creation in the middle of the field and hid behind a nearby tree. As the sun rose, the crows cautiously approached the field. The moment they got within a certain distance, the scarecrow sprang to life, moving its arms and calling out in Benjamin's voice. Startled by the unexpected movement and sound, the crows scattered in all directions, never to return to the farmer's fields again. Benjamin's plan had worked like a charm. News of Benjamin's clever scarecrow quickly spread throughout the village, and neighboring farmers sought his advice on protecting their own crops. Benjamin happily shared his design with them, guiding them in constructing their own scarecrows with movable parts and recorded voices. As the years passed, Benjamin's scarecrow became a symbol of ingenuity and effectiveness in the battle against crop-eating pests. Farmers far and wide began adopting his design, and Benjamin's reputation as a clever farmer grew even stronger. Not only did Benjamin's farm flourish, but he also found himself in demand as a consultant for other agricultural projects. His clever solutions to various farming challenges, coupled with his kind and humble nature, made him a respected figure in the community. From that day forward, Benjamin continued to use his intelligence and resourcefulness to improve his farm and help his fellow farmers. He became a shining example of how a clever mind and a dash of innovation could overcome even the most challenging obstacles. And the tale of the clever farmer and his ingenious scarecrow lived on for generations to come, inspiring countless others to think outside the box and find solutions to their own problems. Years passed, and Benjamin's reputation as a clever farmer continued to grow. People from distant lands came to seek his advice, and his farm became a hub of innovation and experimentation. Benjamin was always eager to learn from others as well, embracing new ideas and techniques that could benefit his land and community. One day, a severe drought struck the village, causing crops to wither and the land to become barren. The farmers were devastated, fearing the loss of their livelihoods. Benjamin, 
determined to find a solution, spent hours studying books on water conservation and irrigation methods. After much research, Benjamin devised a plan to harness the power of the nearby river and bring water to the parched fields. He gathered the villagers and explained his idea. They would dig a series of channels and canals to redirect the river's flow, ensuring that every field had access to water. The villagers were amazed by Benjamin's vision and eagerly joined him in the project. They worked day and night, digging trenches and building sluices to regulate the water's flow. Benjamin's knowledge of the land and his ability to visualize the irrigation system proved invaluable. Soon, the network of canals was complete, and water flowed through the once barren fields. The crops began to flourish, bringing hope and prosperity back to the village. Other communities nearby took notice of Benjamin's success and sought his guidance in implementing similar irrigation systems. Not only did Benjamin's clever solution save his village from the drought's devastating effects, but it also became a model for sustainable farming practices in the region. He encouraged the use of rainwater harvesting, efficient irrigation techniques, and crop rotation to preserve the soil's fertility and protect against future challenges. As Benjamin's fame spread, he was invited to agricultural conferences and workshops as a keynote speaker. His insights and practical knowledge inspired farmers from around the world to adopt eco-friendly practices and find innovative solutions to their farming dilemmas. Benjamin's farm became a center for research and experimentation. Scholars, scientists, and agricultural enthusiasts flocked to his fields to study his methods and exchange ideas. Benjamin welcomed each visitor with open arms, eager to share his knowledge and learn from their experiences. Over time, Benjamin's contributions to farming and sustainable agriculture earned him numerous accolades and awards. His ideas revolutionized farming practices, demonstrating that cleverness and adaptability were crucial in overcoming the ever-changing challenges faced by farmers. But despite his achievements and recognition, Benjamin remained humble and rooted in his love for the land. He continued to work alongside his fellow farmers, lending a helping hand whenever needed. Benjamin's legacy extended far beyond his own farm, leaving a lasting impact on the lives and livelihoods of countless farmers across the world. And sir, the story of the clever farmer, Benjamin, became a legend whispered among farmers as they toiled under the sun. His wisdom and innovative spirit continued to inspire generations, reminding them that with intelligence, perseverance, and a deep connection to the earth, even the most daunting obstacles could be overcome. As the years went by, Benjamin's fame as a clever farmer spread even further, reaching the ears of a wealthy landowner named Victoria. Victoria owned vast tracts of land and had struggled to manage her expansive estates effectively. Hearing of Benjamin's exceptional abilities, she sent a messenger to invite him to her grand estate and seek his guidance. Curious and eager for a new challenge, Benjamin accepted the invitation. He arrived at Victoria's estate to find sprawling fields, orchards, and livestock as far as the eye could see. Victoria welcomed him warmly and explained her predicament. Despite having ample resources, her lands were not yielding the desired results. Benjamin observed the estate, carefully considering the various aspects of its management. He realized that the key to success lay in efficient resource allocation and maximizing productivity. With Victoria's permission, he set to work implementing a series of innovative strategies. First, 
Benjamin analyzed the soil composition across the estate. He suggested a comprehensive soil enrichment program, tailored to each specific area, using organic fertilizers and crop rotation techniques. This approach not only improved the soil's fertility but also reduced the need for chemical inputs, promoting sustainability. Next, Benjamin devised a plan to optimize water usage. He introduced drip irrigation systems, enabling precise water distribution while minimizing waste. He also suggested the construction of small reservoirs to collect rainwater, ensuring a steady supply during dry spells. To manage the vast array of crops efficiently, Benjamin proposed the establishment of a central storage and distribution hub. This would streamline the process, reducing transportation costs and minimizing post-harvest losses. He also emphasized the importance of diversifying the crops, taking advantage of the estate's varied microclimates. Furthermore, Benjamin recommended integrating livestock into the estate's operations. He explained the benefits of rotational grazing and the use of animal manure as organic fertilizer, creating a closed-loop system that enhanced overall productivity. Impressed by Benjamin's comprehensive approach, Victoria wholeheartedly embraced his ideas. She provided the necessary resources and support to implement his recommendations. Benjamin worked closely with the estate staff, teaching them new techniques and instilling a culture of innovation and sustainable practices. Over time, Victoria's estate transformed into a model of agricultural efficiency and productivity. Crop yields soared, livestock thrived, and the land itself rejuvenated under Benjamin's expert guidance. The estate became a showcase for modern and sustainable farming methods, attracting visitors and researchers from far and wide. News of Benjamin's success on Victoria's estate spread rapidly, and he was soon inundated with requests for consultations and speaking engagements. He traveled extensively, sharing his wisdom and inspiring farmers worldwide to adopt innovative and environmentally friendly practices. As Benjamin's reputation grew, so did his commitment to educating the next generation. He established an agricultural academy on his own farm, where aspiring farmers could learn from his vast experience and develop their own clever solutions to farming challenges. Many of his students went on to become successful farmers, carrying on his legacy of intelligence and ingenuity. In the end, Benjamin's journey as a clever farmer came full circle. From his humble beginnings in a small village, he had become a renowned agricultural pioneer, touching the lives of countless farmers and leaving an indelible mark on the farming industry. His unwavering passion for the land, combined with his inventive thinking, had transformed the way people approached farming, paving the way for a more sustainable and prosperous future. In the twilight of his life, Benjamin's reputation as a clever farmer continued to inspire others, but he felt a yearning for a quieter existence. He decided to retire from his travels and return to his beloved farm, where he could enjoy the fruits of his labor and share his knowledge with the local community. With his newfound free time, Benjamin focused on expanding his farms educational programs. He invited aspiring farmers, school children, and curious individuals to visit his farm, offering hands-on workshops and interactive sessions. He taught them about sustainable farming practices, the importance of biodiversity, and the value of preserving the environment. Benjamin's farm became a hub of learning and experimentation, where people could 
Witness firsthand the positive impact of clever and eco-conscious farming. Visitors marveled at the vibrant fields, the harmonious integration of crops and livestock, and the innovative methods employed to maximize efficiency while minimizing the farm's ecological footprint. But Benjamin's influence extended beyond his farm's borders. He dedicated himself to mentoring young farmers, sharing his wisdom and guiding them through the challenges they faced. Many sought his advice on navigating market trends, adopting cutting-edge technologies, and implementing sustainable practices. In recognition of his contributions to agriculture and his commitment to the community, Benjamin was honored with prestigious awards and accolades. However, he remained humble, always emphasizing the collective effort required to make a positive impact on the farming industry. As the years passed, Benjamin's health began to decline, but his spirit remained as sharp as ever. Even when he could no longer work the fields, he would sit under the shade of a grand oak tree, sharing stories and engaging in lively discussions with farmers, researchers, and anyone who sought his wisdom. The news of Benjamin's declining health reached the ears of Victoria, the wealthy landowner whose estate he had transformed. Deeply grateful for his contributions, she organized a gathering in his honor. Farmers, scholars, and admirers from far and wide gathered to express their gratitude and pay tribute to the remarkable man who had revolutionized the farming industry. As Benjamin listened to the heartfelt speeches and witnessed the impact he had made, he realized that his legacy would live on in the hearts and minds of those he had touched. The next generation of Farmers had embraced his teachings, continuing to push the boundaries of innovation and sustainability. With a contented smile, Benjamin passed away, leaving behind a legacy that would endure for generations. His farm remained a symbol of his ingenious solutions, and his name became synonymous with clever farming practices and environmental stewardship. Today, as people walk through the bountiful fields of Benjamin's farm, they are reminded of the power of intelligence, ingenuity, and a deep connection to the land. His story continues to inspire farmers worldwide, encouraging them to think creatively, embrace sustainability, and strive for a harmonious coexistence between humanity and nature. And sir, the tale of the clever farmer, Benjamin, lives on a beacon of hope and inspiration for those who believe in the transformative power of intelligence and innovation in the pursuit of a better future for agriculture and the planet.